as a professional footballer, you must understand there's rules, uh, but I never stuck to the rules, I always broke the rules. I turned down many clubs before I joined Manchester United, but when I signed for Manchester United, it was a massive move, one of the biggest clubs in the world. Fans don't really know what players go through. In my day, it wasn't identified about that pressure playing for a massive club like that. On a Friday night before we played a home game, I'd go to two or three bottles of wine on a Friday so I could be relaxed on a Saturday. When I played for Chelsea, we played at uh, Man City, uh, obviously Main Road. Uh, it was the first live game going to be on TV. We got in the hotel on a, on a, on a Friday night. Uh, the manager said, have a meal on the straight to bed. And yeah, that, that was the norm for anyone else in the scene. But I was on the first floor, so I jumped out the window, went out, seen a good uh, one of my uh, friends and uh, spent the night with her. I came back at seven o'clock in the morning. We won the game 2-0 and I got mad on the match, so we didn't do me any problems with it. I came in one morning and said to the, to the uh, physio, uh, I, I can't train today. He says, not wrong with you, Mickey Tom. I said, yeah, I, I, I don't feel well. I said, I think I've got a, a championship coming on. He said, yeah, you've been out last night. I said, no, listen, I've got a championship. He said, what have you? He said, he stuck a thermometer in my mouth. I thought, I haven't got a championship. But the phone rang, he had to go out the room to answer the phone. So as he gone out the room, we used to have a kettle where you could make a cup of tea. I put the kettle on, I put the thermometer down the kettle. It blew in little pieces, it blew it to smithereens. The, the, obviously the, the physio comes in and goes, oh my God, he said, get an ambulance, he said. <laughs> True story that was, honestly. Then I went back to Wrexham, obviously the club I started my career with. We had a game that year in 1992 that su survived Wrexham for the next 10 years. We drew an FA Cup game third round against Arsenal. On this day, we produced one of our best performers, and I scored probably one of my best goals of all time against one of the best goalkeepers in David Seaman. Before that game, I said to David Seaman, is it possible the gloves you wear, I can have for my son? He gave no problem. So I didn't expect him to be still by that Wrexham dressing door, and he was. I said, David, I said, I can't believe you're still there. He's just been humiliated, embarrassed. Biggest shock in FA Cup history, he said. He's still here, he goes, Mickey, I promise you the gloves for your son. He said, here they are. I said, they don't work anyway. See, I made the headlines uh, on the back pages, also on the front pages, because uh, it's been well documented. I went to jail for 18 months for counterfeit money. It's something I'm not very proud of. But you just must understand, we all make mistakes. My mistake was I put my own face on the £10 notes. That's what happened. <laughs>